Hello. Now, in my uh, video about the Tiger Moth build I just uh, finished, I mentioned that I would have done things in different order to the instructions from AFX. These are the instructions. As you can tell, anybody can see them, can tell the instructions. Seen those th things before. Uh, and first three stages, very straightforward. Yeah, totally agree with those. And you got to decide then <clears throat> when to put the whether to put the uh, doors on as shut or uh, as open. All fine, fine. fine. Um, likewise, when you're putting the fuselage together, perfectly, perfectly good. Obviously, put the decals on the uh, instrument panels before you think about gluing them in. But get the stage eight and nine, and they're talking already about the uh, engine compartment and putting it onto the front of the fuselage. Now, I don't understand why you'd put it on the front of the fuselage and risk knocking the propeller off and having that sticking out wherever you go. And likewise, I had a problem with the uh, bottom wing because the way it came, it was put on, didn't lie flush with the underside of the aircraft fuselage um, because you'd be filling with that and the, the, the propellers there ready to be pinged off and once it's on you can't put it back put the pin back on because there's a very tight to get the pin into the or whatever it's officially called into the uh, back of the propeller you have to use a bit of a bit of plastic, not plastic, bit of a <coughs> I used a stick, a cocktail stick with some PVA on it to hold the back of the, the pin and put it through the hole there because you can't use your fingers or tweezers is even just as tricky to get it in the uh, through the hole as it were. Um, I also don't understand why they got the air intake to be put on as well as a tiny tiny part easily be lost and I don't see what problem it would be to uh, mould it where it is. It's not as if there's a, uh, a hole there for it to go through. But that's their choice. Um, this was tricky to put in, but uh, it came in eventually. But no, I wouldn't put it on now. You can put this fits on, nice legs, very well fitted. Um, I can be put on last, and then you have to, have to worry about that being there. Uh, so anyway, the bottom wing, I wouldn't put that on now because if you're new to the kit or the, the model, you're not sure if if this lines up or whether it should be flush and you're thinking, oh, like I did, oh, I, I, I've not made enough space. So you could be spend ages trying to make that fit when really it's slightly raised as I can show on the model itself. And by the time it's put on, there's a little bit of a bit, a little bit raised there, so it, does, it doesn't always necessarily lie flush. I mean, it could do, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, so I left that off till did it the other way around as I've shown, and put the top wing on first by attaching the. Uh, center and the struts. Now another thing I would do differently with the instructions is I would suggest that the center struts, this part of it, as you can see, uh, they go on the side of the fuselage. Now when they're already attached to the top wing, the side of the fuselage it's just tricky to put on compared to the ease at which these parts of the struts go under the top wing. So it would be easier to put the bottom of the sides of the, onto the fuselage first and have that the right distance apart and uh, put the top wing on next. So imagine you've got those on there first and then you put those outer struts on there and then you can put the fuselage on there and then you've got quite an easy job 
to line up and fit the bottom wing with the fuselage and top wing and I think it would go better together like that that's my opinion anyway that's what I would do if I do this model again that's what I will do uh, that makes sense that makes pretty much sense although I would have drawn it that way around or would I? is that right? yeah I would have drawn it that way around because so, you can see then although that, just, that makes just as much sense to put it in that way around I don't know it depends but you do it all. Um, the rest of it yeah I wouldn't that doesn't have any problem really that fits quite well these you can't really tell whether they're going around or not I wouldn't put these on at this stage I put them on before and that's pretty much it this is tricky to cut off there should be a special tool to do that but uh, be careful taking those off because I I've uh, very often nearly broken things at that stage but anyway that's my opinion of the instructions of the airfix taking off bye